you guys have any paper or not? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's think. What I'm doing. I'll see the color of my grip after because I have practice. <laughs> I just got a few months ago from my coach. He gave me like a oil pastel and then I like it and he saw that I was enjoying and it was helping me to try to be in the present, to have something off court also to relax and be out of the, the bubble that we live. So yeah, I think that was the beginning. And since then, I started painting with acrylic. That's my connection with the art. I don't have too much time, but I would like to learn a little bit more about it. And yeah, it's one goal for me. When we talk about tennis, about the competition, the atmosphere, we have all, also, all the time we have the pressure, we have like a competitive environment, we have things that we need to improve every day and it's good to have some things that can calm down and can also help you with the concentration and I think also one thing that helps me a lot is the guitar. Sometimes I try to play as well. So I think it's two things that helps me a lot. I think athletes and artists, they have things in common, which like I think both of them must have life like the intuition side that sometimes we have to solve problems in the moment when things are not going through the way that you want. Sometimes we think that the art, when it's done, it's only about these minutes that he's painting, but it's not like, it's, it's the same on the court. The match is not the match that you play these two sets, three sets. We build a lot of, like we have a lot of preparation. We need to improve ourselves, our skills for this one, two hours that we're gonna make it. It's a special place, one of my favorite for sure tournaments and for my team as well. So it feels great to be here, feel great to be back and especially on this court, which is the first win that I had in Wimbledon. So yeah, it's such a nice uh, place, um, environment and special week for me as well. I think it was too dark <laughs> for me because it would be like a sun, like the sunshine and it was terrible, so I'll start again. <laughs> Maris Bueno and Guga, they are like a, another kind of level. I just respect their stories and I know people sometimes expect from me things that they did, but like I'm a normal person and I'm not that genius and I just, yeah, I'm just a, such a fighter person who will try to do maybe 10% of, of what they did and what they are for me and for tennis. I love being Brazilian, I love to represent them as well, to receive the energy and yeah, sometimes I take care of using uh, social medias and everything to, yeah, to be with my team, to be concentrated in our job. But yeah, it's special to be Brazilian and receive this kind of energy. <laughs> I started playing with my mom and yeah, we were very young and she's still teaching kids how to play. So yeah, I started with her and we started playing some tournaments when I was eight, 10 years old. And yeah, that was my, my beginning. <laughs> No, it's terrible. I, can't, I, I discovered one thing, I can't talk and faint at the same time. Yeah, I'll show you what I did yes, before yesterday, after, but it was, it was pretty nice, this one. This one is different, but it's, it's nice. I think expectations are things, like are natural things from everyone. I, I think when you do a semi-finals in a Grand Slam, it means that you can play in big stage in, against big players. But I always think in the same way when I'm in a tournament, like it's very tough to be in the second round and, I, and my goal is always my next match. <laughs> Look how bad it is. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> No, it's not, <laughs> but it's okay. You can see the art here. This amazing card, <laughs> it's much better. If I come to the second week, I need to paint with the acrylic, okay? 